subject hydrology chapter evaporation topic numerical number 1 on measurement of evaporation and evapotranspiration so now students we have discussed about the concepts of evaporation we have discussed about the method of determination of evaporation and same with the evapotranspiration right now it's time to solve a few numericals now the first numerical is the average daily evaporation the average daily evaporation for a reservoir with following data this is the data which is given would be so we have to calculate the average daily evaporation in mm per day clear so use mayor's formula right now the question uh, now it is uh, the data which is given area of the reservoir is given to us as 250 hectares the wind velocity at 1 meter above ground at 1 meter above ground it is 16 kilometers per hour uh, this is the saturated vapor pressure that is given as 17.54 mm of hg relative humidity is given to me as 40 percent right so relative humidity which is given to me is 40 percent right now we have to calculate the average daily evaporation right from the Mayer's formula from the Mayer's formula right so i told you that the Mayer's formula is an empirical uh, uh, is an empirical solution of the calculation of evaporation and the Mayer's formula is given by that is evaporation is equals to k k is a constant ew minus ea 1 plus u9 upon 16 where u9 is the wind velocity in kilometers per hour at a distance of 9 meter above the ground level right and this is ew and ea ew and ea are generally in mm of hg that is why you will be getting it in mm per day right and k is a constant now the value of k if it is a you can say if it is a deep if it is a very large reservoir it is usually taken at 0 0.36 and if it is not a large reservoir it is a medium reservoir it is taken at nearly 0 0.5 clear yeah? Generally, it is given to you in question, but in this question, it is not given to you. So, you just take it as 0 0.36. Generally, if question comes in examination, the value of k will be given to you, right? But in this question, the value is not given. So, we will take it as 0 0.36. Yeah, because the reservoir is not a, you can say, a very big reservoir. It is just 250 hectares. So, for a small reservoir, 0 0.36. For large, than it is, right? So, the value of k is 0 0.36. Let me write it in like large reservoirs for large reservoirs and 0 0.50 for small reservoirs small reservoirs clear yeah. so the area of the reservoir is 250 hectares so it's a very large reservoir right so we'll be using the value as 0 0.36 right generally it is given to you in question itself okay yeah. now the thing is that what else do we know okay now we know k we know ew we don't know ea right we don't know u9 also right that is the velocity of wind in kilometers per hour at a distance of 9 meter above the ground level we don't know but we know one relation that if you want to determine the velocity at h height it is actually equal to c c is a constant into height raised to the power 1 by 7 this relation i know okay this relation i know now what about this now generally this term is given relative humidity so what is relative humidity you must have studied relative humidity in fluid mechanics or irrigation but even if you have not studied relative humidity now let me tell you that relative means in comparison right so relative humidity means for example you are given an air mass that air mass will be having some you can say moisture content so that moisture content divided by the moisture which will be required to saturate that particular air mass at the same temperature that is the relative humidity right so let me rub this and make you understand what relative humidity is so let me rub this right clear yeah. now relative humidity right so relative humidity you can say that for if you have a particular air mass it can be of one meter cube one centimeter cube, whatever the air mass you will be having so that a particular air mass will be having some moisture content so that moisture content or you can say natural moisture content natural moisture content divided by saturation moisture content saturation moisture content it means that at, at same temperature at same temperature is equals to constant the temperature don't have to change right that is the relative humidity if you are calculating it in percent then you have to multiply it with 100 also 
Okay, so that is your relative humidity, right? A relative humidity can also be expressed in terms of vapor pressure, also, right? So you can say that relative humidity is the actual vapor pressure divided by the saturation vapor pressure. That is also relative humidity. Okay, in if in percentage, multiply with 100. You will get the relative humidity, right? So that is relative humidity. You must have studied this in fluid mechanics or in irrigation, right? But even if you have not studied, then I have told you what is relative humidity. Okay. Now, how to solve this problem? Now, this uh, the formula was I wrote the formula. The formula was the mere formula. The evapor evaporation is given by K, which is 0 0.36 in this case because the reservoir is very large, right? Into E W minus E A into 1 plus U9 divided by 16 clear now the main now the main you can say main uh, thing in this question would be to determine ea and u9 as everything we know right so how to determine ea so ea can be determined by the relative humidity right so we know that relative humidity is equals to ea divided by ew into 100 how much is ew is ew given yes ew is given to me as 17.5 mm of hg right so i will be getting so uh, this will be equal to 40 percent will be equal to ea divided by 17.54 into 100 right it implies that ea will be equal to this will be 0 0.4 0 0.4 into 17.54 mm of hg so how much it will be so it will be equal to 17.54 multiplied by 0.4 it comes out to be 7.016 right it comes out to be 7.016 that is 7.016 mm of mercury hg clear that is the value of ea we have got we already know ew e this also know now we don't know u9 but in question it is given to me that the wind velocity at one meter above the ground surface at one meter above the ground surface is 16 km per hour. It means that if I apply this relation, that is wind velocity at h height, it is actually equal to one constant c into height raised to the power 1 by 7. I will be getting the answer, and h will be meters, and this formula is valid up to only 500 meters only, right? So, how much is velocity? 16. 16 is equal to one constant, whatever the constant is, into height. How much is height? 1 meter. So, 1 raised to the power. 1 by 7. Now if I want to calculate U9, so U9 will be equal to constant, the constant will be the same at a height of 9 meters. So 9 divided by 1 by 7, right? So let me uh, divide, this is equation number 2 and this is equation number 1. So let me divide 2 by 1. So I will be getting U9 divided by 16 will be equal to 9 raised to the power 1 by 7 divided by 1 cc will get cancelled out so u9 will be equal to 9 into uh, 9 raised to the power 1 by 7 into 16 right so 9 raised to the power 9 raised to the power 1 divided by 7 right and multiplied by 16 it comes out to be 21.90 89 or 90 right 21.890 so u9 comes out to be 21 i guess 21 22 oh sorry 20 1.89 21.89 kilometers per hour now we know everything we know everything we also know u9 we also know ea we also know ew everything is known now just put in the formula you will get the answer let me rub this right now let me rub this right let me rub this. This is required. This is required. Now let me rub this whole thing also. Right? Let me rub this also. Ready to I have explained you. Right? Let me rub this. And let me rub this also. This is also not required because we have got the U9 already. Right? Let me rub this. Okay? Now. Now just apply the formula and get the answer. Simple. Now it is just a cakewalk. So EL will be equal to K is 0 0.36. Generally K will be given to you in question. If not given, for large reservoir it is 0 0.36. Uh, uh, and for small reservoirs it is 0 0.5. Clear? Now, into EW. How much is EW? 17.5. 17.5 minus EA. 17.54. Minus EA is 7.016. 7.016. Right? 
1.6 into bracket we have u nine kilometers per hour. So that is 21.89 kilometers per hour divided by 16, right? So this would be the answer. So the answer would be let me calculate how much the answer comes out to be. So the answer comes out to be 21.89 divided by 16 plus 1 multiply by 17.54 minus 7.016 and multiply by the coefficient 0.36 so it comes out to be 8.97 mm per day right it comes out to be 8.97 mm per day 8.97 mm per day so the correct answer would be 8.97 so 8.97 is the correct answer clear yeah? so i hope that you have understood this why i chose this question to make you understand how to my ea by the concept of relative humidity right i have told you everything right actually because if you know the concept and you know your previous concepts right because in gate examination it is not just like you have to apply the concept of only one subject so they, they can be a mixture of two or three subjects right in this question there was a mixture of hydrology and there was a mixture of uh, you can say fluid mechanics or you can say irrigation also there was a mixture because relative humidity is generally uh, explained in irrigation or in fluid mechanics they can be a mixture okay so and how to make this u9 by the expression that is velocity at any height h is equals to one constant into h raised to the power one by seven that is velocity at any height is directly proportional to h raised to the power 1 by 7 so that is why i chose this question how to remind u9 and this okay so i hope that you have understood this numerical now let's move forward and solve another numerical on evapotranspiration thank you